<laughs> Say it again. Our math. Hi students, I wanted to explain how I did grades or progress reports or quarter grades or semester grades. <coughs> the first thing I'm going to do is look at my gradebook and see if any students have any uh, D's or uh, F's. Those are automatically entered into the progress reports. <coughs> and then I'm going to look at their behavior. Students talking too much, I'll enter this code and it'll end up on your progress report. Or let's just say you're doing your history homework or have your phone out or putting on makeup or using class time. Aries will show me how many absences you have. And then if you have seven or plus absences, I'll write 22, which is, they'll tell you they have too many absences or too many tardies. Uh, if you're a good student or a great student, you have zero tardies and zero absences, I'll put in the code 05 and then you'll have commendable attendance. I'm going to look at your test scores. So if it says that you have um, any quizzes, quiz slash test scores. If one of them is lower than 50%, then also unsatisfied test scores. If yours says um, both of them are above 90%, then I'll say you have high test scores. If your homework category or Khan Academy is less than 70%, then I'll say unsatisfactory homework scores. And then um, positives, I'll put pleasure, pleasure to have in class. Maybe sometimes I'll put it does excellent work. Or if I think you don't work, uh, hard enough, like you work below 100%, then I'll put achieving below apparent ability. So what I do is then gradebook, which teachers have access to, then I'll have a gradebook summary. So let me show you guys the uh, absences. Alright, so on my areas side then, <coughs> students, um, you'll see based on number of absences and tardies, and what I'll do is I'll just add those up in my head. Um, and then I'll take a look at this next part. And then based on your, um, this is from last year, and based on the number of absences or tardies on this chart then, I will give you a grade or based on your percentages of your homework um, and quizzes, I mean sorry, homework and Khan Academy, uh, I'll give you a work habits grade. Uh, let's see if I can show you that. So here then you'll see, um, this is the beginning of the year so we haven't taken any tests, but there's your quiz scores and if I'm looking through and I'm looking for a student who may have scored below 50% and then that's when I'll flag it low quiz test scores. Alright, so then based on this uh, chart, <coughs> based on the homework and Khan Academy, I'll assign a letter so if you have like 100% of all of those, then you get O's for outstanding, or S for satisfaction for 70 to 85. Needs improvement for 55 to 70, or unsatisfactory if any of those are below 75%. <clears throat> so here's a class where, um, for example, um, this student right here did only got 35 minutes at 120, that's a 29%, so that would say um, the work habits would be a unsatisfactory, or say this student over here, their homework um, you know, completing your online assignments got cut off, but it's, you know, we have 100%, it's 1,200 out of 1,200, or uh, one fourth, so 300 out of 1,200, that'd be a 25%. Then, based on these two scores, A plus or F, I'll take the lower score, and that'll be your work habits grade. Math. Say it again. Our math.